You're watching Much Ado About Something today, and I'm Donna, and I sure am glad that you're here. Well, we're in the kitchen today. I wanted to make something sweet, but I hadn't got to that yet. For dinner tonight, for supper, I'm going to make me and Donald some macaroni and tomatoes. It's a Appalachian dish. It was a staple when we were growing up, and it's a comfort food for me. When we were growing up, uh, we didn't have a lot of cheese. We just had... Uh, macaroni and tomatoes we had a lot of tomatoes instead of the cheese and that was fine with me because I love them now this time of the year you'll have an abundance of tomatoes or uh, garden produce I mean we have abundance of tomatoes there are some that are going a little bit bad before we can get to them uh, that's just a little spot on that one but I went through and got all the ones that uh, I had to cut off places and I put them in this bowl and I've got them chopped up so these are all fresh tomatoes they're all different kinds there's a Cherokee purple in here one yellow one and several just uh, regular tomatoes you know uh, that you'd slice and eat on your sandwich or you know just slice and eat so that's what's in here and this is how many I had I had quite a few I'm going to go ahead and put the water on the stove and get these um, noodles to boiling Speaking of noodles, there's all different kinds of noodles. Elbows, for what we use classically, uh, traditionally, we use elbow macaroni and our macaroni and tomatoes. There's, you know, different kinds. There's fancy bow ties, and there's these, um, you know, penne or other kinds of pasta that you can use. But any kind of pasta you like will work for this, this simple dish. I've got about four quarts of water boiling that I'm going to start boiling here. We'll get this to boil and we'll boil our macaroni noodles. I'm going to go ahead and move these tomatoes away from the heat. We'll be eating these in the next few days. Now, I may not use all of these tomatoes. And if whatever I have left, I'm just going to go ahead and put in the, uh, you know, a container and save them for the next few days. I'll cook with them. I've got plenty of juice. There's a lot of juice in these, these cut up tomatoes. And I did not peel them. I left the peelings on. But if you want to peel your tomatoes, feel free to do that. You know, we eat a lot of the peelings. We think there's a lot of flavor and nutrition up under the peels. And if we like the uh, texture, Donald sometimes will eat a lot more peelings than I do. But we'll just leave the peelings on in our uh, whatever food we're, we're, we're cooking with. Now I've got this water. It's going to boil. I'll get it to a rolling boil. Then we'll salt it and we'll add our noodles. Our water is boiling. I'm just going to go ahead and add the salt. And the pasta. Let me go ahead and stir this in a little bit. And then we will set this timer for about eight minutes. I'm just going to set it for eight minutes. It'll be a little al dente, but that's okay because there's a lot of liquid in this, in this, uh, these tomatoes. And that macaroni, once it's cooked and we combine all this together, it will absorb some of this liquid that's in these tomatoes. So we're just going to go ahead and let it cook. For just about eight minutes and then when it's done I set the timer because I'm running around the house doing other things and I don't want to forget about my pasta and it to overcook. Well our time's up. We've got our pasta going good here. I'm going to go ahead and take it off and drain it. Got to get a pot holder. That pot's hot. I have a lot of good feedback. I actually have a video on my channel about how to make this um, this macaroni and tomatoes. As simple as it is, uh, when I got out of the hospital a couple of years back, this is a comfort food. So I wanted to go ahead and make that. I made a video sharing that comfort food when I made it. 
I set this back on the heat. I turned the heat down a little bit. I am going to go ahead and add a whole stick of butter to this because it's a whole pound of pasta and a lot of tomatoes I got going here. I'm going to go ahead and melt this butter. Now I sometimes make it with butter and I sometimes make it with bacon grease or uh, even um, lard rendered from side meat. So whatever you like, whatever kind of oil you like, you can know you could even use um, olive oil, avocado oil, any kind of oil that you like if that's what you wanted to do. But I'm going to melt this butter a little bit and then I'm going to put these tomatoes in it. I don't think I can use all the tomatoes that I've got cut up over here. I'll probably just use half of these and most of the juice out of here because I, there's a lot of tomatoes. I'm trying to make the use of them, but what I don't use, I'll put back in the refrigerator. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, good feedback on this dish. A lot of my people that I, I have uh, commented that they had remembered their mama making this, and of course I had cousins that remembered because we always ate it. You know, mama had ten I mean, she had nine siblings, counting herself. There were ten of them. So this was something they ate and something she fixed for us. And a lot of cousins and her sisters and, and all made this. So this was was a common thing. I had a lot of good comments on it. Such a simple dish. She just made you pasta, which took water and salt, and a, a one-pound container of pasta, and then whatever kind of tomatoes you got. Now, it will vary. Uh, you know, I've got a mix of tomatoes in here. I've got uh, Cherokee purple. I think it's better boys. And then a yellow tomato. I'll just cut up in here. Uh, I had some tomatoes that had little spots on them. And I took the time just to cut all the bad away. And had plenty of good tomato left. I'm going to cook it up in this butter. And then we're going to add our noodles to it. And add salt and pepper. Now you could add whatever you like to th this dish. We've got our butter melted so let me go ahead and add these tomatoes I've got a slotted spoon here I'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes first if you don't have fresh tomatoes you can use canned tomatoes just use whatever frozen tomatoes whatever kind of tomatoes you got on hand I'm going to go ahead and add as much as this liquid so that macaroni can absorb it. And I believe that's all the tomatoes I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add, well, let me add one more spoonful. Donald, he really likes tomatoes. He loves them. I love them too, but he could eat them every meal. ahead and add this drained macaroni noodles that cooked for about eight minutes and we'll drain it right on into this macaroni and melted butter I'm just going to let it cook for a little bit. I'm going to add some salt and paper, pepper, and that's all it is to it, folks. It's not hard at all. It's a pretty simple, straightforward, easy dish to make. Now, I grow fresh ba basil in my garden, and I know basil would be delicious in this kind of a dish. Oh, it would be good. But I just like the taste of it traditionally, the way we ate it, and I don't like to mess with it a lot. I like to leave it just as simple as I possibly can. So I won't add basil to this, but if you want to add anything to yours, feel free to do that. Some Italian spices. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And then this is what we'll have for supper tonight. As simple as it is. Just a one dish supper, no meat in it tonight. Just like this.
Donald's going to need a little more pepper on his, so I'm going to go ahead and put pepper, oh. pepper on it. Macaroni and tomatoes? Yep. That's good, honey. That's good. <laughs> I like it. It's a basic. It's a basic meal, isn't it? Yeah. No meat. Very simple. Ooh. better when you use the fresh tomatoes than when we use the canned tomatoes, don't you think? Yes. Simple but good. Go ahead. You know what would be good to go with this? Some sliced up cucumbers and onions in vinegar and water. <laughs> That'd be good on the side, wouldn't it? That would be. Thank you for letting me share this simple supper, or simple meal uh, recipe with you. Something we grew up with in the Appalachians. Uh, all the people we knew that grew up in our area, we ate this. And I've had a lot of good comments from the last time I shared it. I just thought, with all, the way all the tomatoes coming in and everything, this would be a simple dish to remind everybody to make. Use up some of those tomatoes so they won't go bad on you. Thank you for letting me share it with you. Like always, until next time.